Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in home, Wisconsin, as he has discovered a 19-year-old motorcycle operator who has a restricted license who's not supposed to be driving without a helmet and definitely not supposed to be riding at night. But guess what? He is doing both. He is riding at night and not wearing a helmet. And when he tried to initiate a traffic stop, he sped off at 90 miles an hour and eventually wrecked on a grassy lawn and uh, fled into the woods. And this video comes to us courtesy of Code Blue Cam. So go ahead and subscribe to their channel. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Seven sixteen Minnesota temp tag zero two two one. Yeah, I lit him up. He took off on me, and I got you know he wrecked out on the grass. Everything okay? Yeah, you want to put that down? Okay. Please, thank you. Everything's good. Well, probably not for everybody because that kid has probably got an early start in to messing up his life. But maybe there's still hope for him. Let's but let's continue on and see how this video turns out. 716 to the county unit. You want to go again? I got my two kids and wife. Okay, I just had someone take off for me. They ran into the woods. Okay. Yeah, I have a consider opening. I I do have weapons at home. Yeah, Tim Fort. If they want to go west of the scene and I, try to see if they can locate them over there. You want me to open a camera? I got camera. <coughs> it's working. Um, if you want to, but I should be good. Okay. Just if your doors are locked, just make sure they stay locked. Thank you. And if you just want to know, reason for the stop was speed, reckless driving, and the RO is does not have a valid license for Class M. Well, since they have the uh, kid's license plate number, they know where he lives, so they decide to go meet up with him at his house. So let's go ahead and skip on ahead and see how his mother is going to take this. I'm sure she'll be most disappointed in him. I know I would be if I were his father. Many, many minutes later. Sounds like a big dog. <clears throat> Please, Spider-Man. Police department. Oh my, hi. Hi, who are you? Hello. Hey, I'm looking for Isaac. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I don't know if he's home. Okay, he ran for me on his motorcycle. Are you shitting me? No. Oh, fuck it. All right, pal. All right. <laughs> What's up, pooch? Oh yeah, he's changed and everything. He's like talking or something, I don't know. Sorry. What's up, Isaac? What's going on? You want to tell me what's going on? You want to tell me why I'm here? I, I don't know. If you want to lie to me, you can. I don't know. Quick Trip has about. phenomenal cameras. Where's your motorcycle at? I can tell you. All right. You've been home all night? Yeah, you know, since like 11. Since 11 p.m.? 11 ish. All right. What happened to your face? How'd you get all scratched up? I've been, I got this at work at, the other day. All right. I opened the cooler Where? door and it scratched. Where is your motorcycle at? I don't know. I thought you said it was here. I, I said I, I said I've been home since like eleven. You had, he, I, I, I heard him come home because the dog freaked out. Yeah. Eleven. Oh, it wasn't okay. Um, how'd you get home? Um, I just got home. It's my buddy Gavin dropped me off. Uh, who? My buddy Gavin dropped me off. Okay. How'd you get to Gavin's house? I wasn't over at Gavin's house. Where were you? He's over at Buddy's house. Okay, how'd you get there? I got dropped off. You got dropped off? Yeah. You want to be honest with me or are you just going to keep lying? Well, we can already tell you're bad at lying, dude. You might want to fess up because he's on to you, my man. So just fess up and they might go lenient on you. I'm telling you. But I was right behind you when you crashed your bike, right? You left Quick Trip, which has excellent cameras. I watched you go into Quick Trip. Before you took off, 
So you want to be honest? Okay, I'll be honest. Okay, what were you thinking? I went okay, so I went over on my I went over to my buddy's house on my bike. Yep. And I, I, I'm you know I just bought the thing. I'm not supposed to be out. Yep. And, I know. And you you lit me up and you scared the crap out of me. I didn't know what to do, so I just ran like literally four houses down to his house and I just sat there for an hour and then I came here. Okay, dude, you realize riding uh, without a license is a ticket. I have a. I have a permit. I, yeah, I, I know. I that's a, that's I a citation. Really... Do you know what running from the cops is? A big problem. Yeah. I, I'm aware. It's a felony. So I'm going to have you turn that's around that's... and place your hands behind your back for me. You been drinking? No. You smell like alcohol. You're 19? All right. Well, you're 19 years old and you've been drinking under age and operating a motorcycle oh boy you're not exactly the brightest one out there are you especially wearing that bush beer t-shirt i mean you're definitely a fan of the beer aren't you do you have some shoes and they'll have to change down at the jail maybe some shorts or something you could grab for them or some pants yeah. just give me a minute all right sounds good 95. shoes socks uh, just, just does he have some slip-on shoes and then some shorts or pants or yeah, something I'll that he could throw on quick? So here's the deal. We have your bike. I don't know what you were thinking. That we weren't going to find you. The plates are on it. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, that much is definitely clear. You weren't thinking at all. But let's just hope this doesn't really affect the rest of your life. Hopefully it won't, but let's continue on. That's fair. How much have you had to drink tonight, bud? Be honest with me. I had like... I freaked out. I got home and had like three years. After you got home? After. I got home. Where are the cans at? Take a deep breath in and blow it like you're blowing a balloon. There you go. Grab that straw. <clears throat> Put it in your pocket. Think maybe you weren't thinking because you were drinking prior to? No. All right. I'm gonna put these back on, right? You uh, you need to apologize to your mom. She raised you 19 years, and I'm assuming she raised you better than this. You know, if that's not obvious, I don't know what is. What was that? And, and if that's not obvious, I don't know what is. You're lucky you didn't kill yourself. You're not wearing a helmet. Yep. All right, bud. We're going to go to the passenger side, all right? A little bit further. There you go. It's the weekend. You might be there till Monday. It's a Friday, so he might be there all weekend. Okay. Until the judge sees and... Maybe they'll give him a bond before that or not. So he'll be able to make phone calls down there. Okay. All right. I appreciate you being so helpful. Do you, do you have, like I asked him, do you have a card or any case yeah. information or a anything? I need to be the case number. I'm assuming he just got the bike because he doesn't really know how to ride it very well. Nope. And he wasn't supposed to get it in my 716. house. 716. So. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm sure your mama's proud of you. You uh, got charged with felony uh fleeing and evading police officers, among other uh, traffic citations, which came out to be a $1,700 fine. Oh, man, dude, you really done screwed up. $1,700 is not exactly a fun thing to pay off. Oh, boy, I would love to be a fly on the wall in that house just to see what his mother is going to do to... Uh, Resolve that $1,700 debt that he incurred right there. Oh, boy, that would not be easy. But you know what? It's a life lesson that hopefully he won't do again and uh, maybe won't F, F up again. But time will tell. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.